Hello. Now, if you don't know, I mentioned on my Twitter that there was a visual novel version of Crush Crush, similar to Doki Doki, just in the rep- basics, not actual similar to Doki Doki. Um, and I said I would probably play it. So here we are. <laughs> and I want to emphasize this first. I don't know when this will come out, but I wanted to be... I wanted to be funny. So for both Crush Crush and this game, I, I bought the 18 plus version just to make my reaction more funny to everything. So, yippee. Thanks for picking up Hush Hush. We're really going to go stories. 15, 17 plus. I'm close enough. Oh, shit. Oh, um. There's your warning. Oh, sh- Oh, baby, this. Hey, let's go. This is your warning. I'm not going to actually read through this because I don't want to, you know, get spoiled. But, oh my god. Like, what? That's your warning. Um, okay, July 1st. Hoonie Pop. That's a visual novel that's similar to Hoonie Pop. Please choose difficulty you would like to play. This will affect how you start the game. Note you will not be able to change this later. Easy. Start with plus 5 to all light stats and 250 bucks. Normal. Start with plus 2. Uh, go normal. Normal mode. This moment is great for you ready to dig deep and start strategizing and looking for the quote unquote best endings. Is this the mode you would like? Yes. I'm worried. <laughs> okay, I recognize all these. Okay. It's the beginning of summer when you receive the letter. Your hometown is still cold and wet despite it being on the verge of summer, which is why perhaps it catches your eye. You have won a free vacation, the novelty envelope says, which is ocean blue and covered with pictures of sand, sun, and pretty people on the beach. On any other day, you would have thrown the letter away, likely after making a joke about IRL spam mail. But the dreary weather is weighing on you, and for a moment, the fancy of a getaway vacation somewhere warm calls to you. Okay. You can almost hear water rising around you, tranquil and blue, as the waves beckon you to cast aside your clothes and run laughing into the surf. <laughs> okay. Shit, you can't hear this. Nothing's happening. I, I want to point that out. It's just music. See? This. It was just that, but still. So you decide to open it. After all, what's the harm in opening an envelope? You're surprised to see that not only is your full name on the letter, but the paperwork looks legit. There's a voucher for a plane ticket, instructions on where to find the key for your house rental. After reading over the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> this one was on my mic. After reading over the letter six or seven times, you can help and conclude it's genuine. You've won a vacation. To a resort town on the west coast called Subrosa. Subrosa? Subrosa. The letter describes Subrosa as the perfect summer vacation spot. There are shops, world class wineries, bakeries, and cafes, and gorgeous beaches that stretch for miles. Inside, you find more photos of beautiful men and women playing in the sand, sharing a romantic glass of wine, and kissing in the moonlight. With the sound of surf in the back of your mind, you arrange your vacation time and immediately start to look forward to the summer. The days pass slowly, July can't come fast enough. Sorry. On the night before your flight, with everything packed and ready to go, you set several alarms to make sure you wake on time. There's no way you're missing this. At first, you have no idea how you're even going to sleep, your excitement only growing uh, growing as you settle in for the first night. But sleep comes quickly, and with it, the dream. You become aware of the sound of water. Everything is dark, but you feel weightless, floating freely in space with no real sense of up or down. You feel no urge to breathe. The water n- is neither hot or cold. After a few moments, a great current begins to push you. You open your eyes and see a great light ahead where the water is leading you. You break the surface and see ruins? Strange ancient structures bathed in sunlight. You are aware you are dreaming, but it feels so vivid and real that you can't help but feel strangely vulnerable. A voice calls out. Come. Voice acting! Let's go! We have been waiting for you. Who the fuck? 
You wade toward the ruins. Under your feet, the rocks are smooth as set as though set by hand. When you reach the shore, you hear the voices again. Come to us. I'm sorry, who the hell's talking? Yes, come. Stop saying that. You climb up a stony slope and find an open area, almost like a Ro Roman amphitheater. Amphitheater? Amphitheater. Amphitheater. I don't, I can't, I have a hard time speaking. Sorry. God, kill me. That's when you see them. Two beautiful women, one dazzling and bright and the other dark and mysterious. Both of them have wings of flowers set in their hair like a tiara. The one in dazzling right reaches her hand to you and smiles. Welcome, chosen one. We are so very happy to meet you at last. Maybe this is a little similar to Hoonipop. I am Cupernicus, the goddess of light. Okay, hi Cupernicus. I'm Thelema, goddess of shadows. You two could put on more clothes, in my boy. <laughs> we have brought you here because we have a matter of grave urgency we need your help with. All right, when you, this, once again, sounding similar to Unipop. You received and accepted an invitation to Sub Rosa, Sub Rosa exactly yeah. where we need you. Once again, sounding similar. For you see, without your help, there are five oh. girls that are doomed okay, to perish. Is, this is a bit different. Okay, good. Uh, this is crazy. This is just a dream. But well, what can I do? Shouldn't they go to the police or something? I gotta say, I'm like, where this is going? This is crazy. This is just no, true. chosen one. It is real. Do not allow your heart to dismiss this as myth and fancy. I mean, look around. How do you not? Okay. Well, it's sort of a dream, but we're real, and the danger is more so. Okay. Here is the task. Bring it on. Each of the five girls you must save are living in Sabrosa, and each of them are concealing secrets that will prove fatal if not brought to light. So I'm seeing this is sort of a mix of Hoonie Pop and DDLC. Okay, okay, I'm down for that, I'm down for that. They could be hiding them from their families, their friends, or even themselves. Secrets are funny like that. Secrets are funny like that. It's also a bit depressing. Yeah. You must yep. <laughs> find each of these five destined girls. You must gain their Almost. trust and friendship. And maybe even their hearts, so that they will open to you. I'm not gonna lie. I went into this fully expecting it to just be another like vision, like crush, crush. But if it was a visual novel, not like fully fleshed out story. So I'm I'm kind of stoked about that one. Two, all the girls seem really cheery in Crush Crush. So are they like gonna? I'm assuming they're gonna try to fall in the backstory of all of them, especially like Mio. She was like the gamer. I don't know. We'll see. Cupernicus opens her hand, revealing the bud of a rose, which blooms and opens in her hand. Only once you know their secrets can you hope to save them. Okay. If they don't trust you, they won't tell you. Do whatever you can to gain their trust, admiration, affection, lust, whatever works. How I know we try for the destiny. You will know. At first, you may not recognize them. But your feelings, feelings will, will guide, guide you. you. Okay. You'll gain a sense of how they're feeling and how much they like you. Don't sweat it. Finding them is the easy part. From what I remember from Crush Crush, these five girls are pretty damn unique. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And while you are working to rescue them, you may be presented with situations that require difficult choices. Yeah, you know what? Based off the uh, disclaimer in the beginning of the game, I'm gonna have to say yeah. <laughs> I implore you to follow your heart and okay. stay in the path of the light at nearly any cost. But of course, not the cost of their lives. Yes, yes. I don't want to kill anyone. If you have to lie, cheat, steal, or inflict a little violence, that's just the way it is. But your quest can be done with the hero's way. Sure, but if you get stuck between a rock and a hard place, well, who's judging you? We're judging them. Uh, yes, but only to prove something goddesses? to each other. Whatever their choices are, the lives of the five destined are your only concern. I just realized, why the hell are you guys concerned about these five girls? I mean, I know, like, people don't deserve to die and all that. But everyone dies every day. Why are you concerned about these five specifically? Like, 
But try to be heroic. Am I just forgetting something? I'm probably just forgetting something. My brain is off right now. Oh no. I, I wanted a more chilled, laid back thing, and then I got the disclaimer, and now it's worrying me. Do you understand all we have said? Do you accept your quest? I just said I didn't. Do it. It'll be fun. You may have time to pick up a few other lovers in the meantime. Are other girls part of this? <laughs> the Lima! Don't distract them! As long as you don't bring in Beverly, we'll be fine. <laughs> and whatever the... Nutaku? Whatever her name is. What was, do you I say? Forget. Yay or nay? Uh, I'll see what yes! I Yes! Oh, you have made me so happy! Weird response. Not gonna lie. Okay, good. This wasn't a monumental waste of time. Thanks. Travel to Sabrosa. Find the destined five girls and discover the secrets which are imperiling their lives. Ah, uh, let's do and, it. spoiler warning, if you pull off this quest, okay. we have a special reward for you. I don't need a special reward. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm supposed to be... Thalema turns to Copernicus and mounts her. <laughs> she wraps her legs around Copernicus's waist, which causes Copernicus to blush and uh, giggly sh... Giggly? The fuck? Thalema presses her... Presses her breast, Jesus Christ, into Copernicus and kisses her once softly, then she turns to you and smiles. Please don't let us down. <laughs> I kind of want to now. Thalima, I'm not sure if this was necessary. I, I was perfectly motivated. Perfectly saving, motivated. Five saving five people's lives is pretty great in my opinion. <laughs> Shh, you're cute when you're being all prophetic and quest-giving. Okay. <laughs> Thelema? The two of them begin to kiss and your vision suddenly goes hazy. You wake and suddenly your alarms are all going off. You leave your house in a bit of a chaotic mess and rush to the airport. It isn't until you're on the plane that you finally have a moment to reflect on the dream. Was it real? Are there really five girls in danger? One way or another, you're determined to find out. At the airport, you are given a rental car, like everything else it's already paid for. As you drive into town, you pass a sign that says, Welcome to Subrosa, the co Coastal Loom. Not Coastal, Jesus Christ. It's extremely early when you arrive at where you're staying. A beautiful two-story house in a quiet neighborhood. Did you- Is this Airbnb, or is this like an actual rental? You drop your things inside and start exploring the town, and maybe hit the beach first. Before you begin your adventure, though, would you like a tutorial on how to play Hush Hush? Yes, please. Okay! You, okay, this is even more and more like Cooney Pop every single time you do this. On your quest, you'll be meeting lots of different characters, and you'll need to figure out the best way lots. to interact with them. Oh, okay. Sure. In every conversation, you'll be given different options on what to say or do. Okay, so this is definitely more branched than Cooney Pop and BDLC. If you pick a good option, you'll be awarded heart points. I... This is a great sign that you're making progress. What was your name? L. Your name was L. I L. Uh, thanks. Good progress. Good, good. Some options, however, Me will know? be locked behind requirements. Sometimes this means you need better stats or more money in order to choose them. What are those skills? I don't want these. One cool thing, though, is that if you use a stat to pick an option, that skill will go up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Every day, you'll be given two chances to work on your stats or earn money at a job. This happens at dawn and dusk. Isn't this a vacation? Why am I going to work? Goddamn. Also, pay attention here, your stats and jobs are split into two different types, light karma and dark karma. Light and dark karma, okay. Light karma jobs and skills are virtuous, exemplary, and at least legal. At least. At least legal. Dark karma jobs and stats are not those things. They involve shady or illegal things. Yeah, but they pay I can more. See that. If you see a choice that involves using one of your dark karma stats, you should know that those will award you dark karma points. I figured. However, light karma points are much, much rarer, and they may not involve light karma stats at all. You must truly quest for the most Flip heroic burgers, and good tech, choices to warrior. earn them. Poker Pro, the model. 
Con man to sell drugs? What does this one say? What? <laughs> what do light and dark karma points do? Mostly I didn't ask affect that. the ending of the story. I, I wouldn't know. So choose wisely. This is gonna determine life or death between five girls. Are you kidding me? Here's an example of the kinds of choices you'll find in Hush Hush. I don't have a thousand bucks. This this response no requirement. You can pick no problem. Uh oh, this one seems to require violent tendencies. This one costs money, which you don't have, so you can't pick. And look! You got hard points! Good Heart job! Point. Thank you, Copernicus. To find the right people to talk to, check out your map. Any locations you see mean that there's something to do there. That's called an event. I figured. Events that are highlighted in gold will advance the time of day, and the ones highlighted in purple mm. will not. So consider doing purple ones first. I, uh, I like doing the purple ones. Why the fuck did I say that? I was trying to like lead into a joke, but I couldn't think of one, and I just said the first part of it. Hey, whatever. You will often get invited to a Hey, in your Cassie! Home. Characters will text you and ask you out, or tell you where they're hanging out. Okay. It's up to you to decide which events to accept or ignore. Just be careful, though. If you accept an invite and don't show, the person you stand up will be mega hurt or insulted, naturally. I solemnly swear as a man, I will not stand up any of the girls. Uh, man's honor, I don't know. I never You'll be able to tell how each of the oh, destined yeah, okay. girls are doing I by know. checking out the Bonabelle. contacts tab. I didn't think Bonabelle was Each in girl's there. mood and affection are affected by the heart points you earn while talking to them. Okay. If a girl's mood drops too low, she may fall victim to an unfortunate accident. Oh, okay. So make sure to manage your schedule. Don't double book any dates at the same time. And pick the best options for every person you speak to. Some girls may want you to be sweet, and some may want you to be sassy. I think some we know who's the sassy. Some may not appreciate you being flirty at all. I think I think we know who the sassy one is. All in all, you gotta do your best guesses, try different strategies, the only way you know and that is have watch fun. my other Crush Crush videos. If you which have you to start from the beginning, should. Well, that's okay. There are a few different ways to You're win. Breaking the fourth wall. Will you try to be more friend than lover? Will you lie, cheat, and steal to what? win? What? No. The choices are up to you. In a moment, like you'll be shown the map. There's that. only one event to choose from, so pick it and begin your adventure in Sub Rosa. What if I don't? Best of luck! And if you need hints on the best way to learn each of the girls' deepest secrets, visit we will the not location be going marked there. hints on your map. Got it, Copernicus, but I don't need that place. Mystic will help you there. For the price. Whoa. On with the show! What is this price? Jumping back into your car, you take a moment to look at your map. The best way to the beach. July 1st, the morning. What if I don't click on it? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck. God, why do I play games at night? Who's first? If I had to guess, the forefront of this game seemed to be Mio. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to her. As you arrive at the beach, you see tons of people playing, sunning, and swimming. It's crowded, but. Fuck hair in my mouth. I'm just having, having a great time. Just as you're stepping on the sand, a pretty stranger with. Oh. Iroh! Ah! Oh, it's just not fair! Curse you, adorable little flying disc! Turning against me, I shall have my revenge! Never mind. Oh! Hello there. I didn't notice you as I was flailing around, trying to snatch this little beauty from the skies. Ah, <sighs> how unfortunate. We almost bumped into each other. That could have been awkward and interesting. Ah, just my luck. First I miss a catch, and then I almost miss a catch. Well, don't just stand there looking scrumptious. Say something flirty. No. <laughs> I think your flailing was really nice, all things considered. Was that Frisbee fired out of a cannon? <laughs> yes, yes, in a sense. Sister. My sister has biceps to die for, and will be positively tickled Wait, to hear them described as cannons. You have naturally rainbow hair? I didn't think Iris' hair was naturally rainbow. I thought she dyed it. 
Yoo-hoo! Eero! Oh, it's Eero. Come over here! I've this been little pronouncing beach it bunny wrong. is saying nice things about your physique. Four I want to live vicariously through episodes. you. episodes, I've been calling her Iro. No! Oh! <laughs> it's Eero. Gosh, Eli. You're so lazy today, even for you. I'm not sure you and I have the same idea of what go long means, but it means you need to run. Thank God you have something on. Darling, I'm garbage without a pair of heels. And I can guarantee that I have a much Wait. different meaning for the phrase go long. I'm, I'm just gonna skip over that part. You you run better in heels? Really? Those things, okay. Ah, uh, my favorite part of going to the beach. The part where Eli talks about penises. <laughs> Speaking of polite conversation, who's this? Hello. Eero, my dear sister. This sweet little my name sour in. key has mistaken me for the beautiful maiden that I am, which means I have won the bet. The dress looks better on me. I win. I didn't say jack shit. Are you serious? We've only been here nine minutes. Oh, the truth hurts, and your tears are like the sweet brine <laughs> of the victory at sea. Pay up. I want to buy something utterly useless and inappropriate. God. Rush. Stupid, sexy Eli. Wunderbar! All right, Wunderbar. I'll be back shortly. The two of you should chat, though. You have so much in common now. <laughs> Ta-ta! Ta-ta. Mm. Hello. Hero. Ugh. I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Eli already has to help me with my makeup and hair. Now it's going to be my wardrobe, too. Well, she did look pretty good in that dress, though I would have if that bikini looks better on you. I'm not sure what just happened, but I don't suppose you have her number. Well, I think you have a really nice wardrobe, like that bikini and that frisbee. We'll go with that one. Ooh, slid that compliment right in there, eh? Let's go! Smooth moves. Smooth moves. Actually, I had nothing to do with this bikini. Eli works at that super posh boutique in the mall and picked it up for me without an employee discount. This would have cost me a few wins. Are you fucking kidding me? How much does a rainbow bikini cost? <laughs> it's a little revealing for me. But I don't bust my buns in the gym for nothing, I suppose. There you go, boom. It's paying off. The name's Eero, by the way. Eero, and the I'm magic sorry I'm calling you Iro. ran off with my money is Eli. Figured. As you can tell, we've got a thing for rainbows. And don't even get us started on ponies. No, really. We get real awkward real fast. So I take it you don't like ponies. I'd say judging from the lack of tan lines, you're probably from out of town. Okay. Hey. Rude. Yeah, I'm here for a month hoping to see the sights. If you happen to know a good local guide with rainbow hair and ridiculously toned arms. <laughs> yeah, I heard this place was packed with hot... Nope. Sort of. I'm looking for some R and R... No. We're going... We're going down. <laughs> Nicely done. I see that you're aware of the shortest route to a girl's heart is through her ridiculously toned arms. I thought it'd be through the back, but okay. Well, you seem like a normal person with normal intentions. And Thank given you. some of the locals I know, normal is a pretty endearing trait. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna hang ten for a bit. The tide is calling for me. No, seriously, look. Can you see? It's waving. Uh -huh. Oh man, I'm so funny. Anyway, nice chatting. Maybe I'll see you around. Hello! Jesus I'm Christ. back! I... Actually, I never left. I was spying on you guys from over there. Thanks for being blunt, at least. I was hoping you'd make a nice impression on my lovely sister. You see, she is part orangutan and does not know how to socialize. Orangutan? Why orangutan? Her okay. friends and I are always trying to help hook her up. Ah, oh, alas, orangutan. And she's such a cutie, too. I wish I had inherited the same butt jeans she damn. has. But maybe I'm off the mark here. You've got this look about you. What is this look, even? I have no idea why, but I'm going to completely 100% trust you. I would like to date her. What do I do? I can't explain it, but I need to get to know Iro. I need to get to know extra so I'm hoping to get both here. No, no, I'm going to Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down, you saucy potato. Acting like a creeper is really more of a third what? date sort of thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What did that say again? Oh, okay. I should have reread that. 
do I act? Uh, the trick with Eero is that she's super off the market right now. Whoa. She's been practically a nun for the last nine months. Her last breakup was ugly! Uh, uh, so the only way to spike that Never football mind. is to take it to the end zone. Why would I and want by to end zone, I mean friend zone. Okay. Oh! I just made a little sports analogy. Eero would be so proud of me. Sure she would. But yes, you should be thinking less tight pants and more pajama bottoms. Be a that, friendly I was friend. Thinking that. Get to know her while avoiding anything sexual. I was thinking that. I uh, okay. This honestly sounds like kind of a nightmare, but you can do it. It sounds perfectly fine to me. So unless you've got mad game and you can prove me wrong, I would suggest I trying to keep your eyes off her ridiculously supple cleavage for a few Jesus outings. Christ. And she's likely to relax her guard. Okay. Think you can handle that? Yes. Ah! Blurring that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! She regains her footing for a moment before the wave crashes down on her, sending her carrying, 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 carrying into the water. <laughs> she emerges from the surf, holding her side and laughing hysterically. You notice immediately that her bikini top is missing, and you notice several times. <laughs> look away. <laughs> Damn. I got stuffed in the barrel hard back there. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? You two look like you've seen a ghost. Of a sort, my dear. More like the icy pail of flesh that hasn't seen the sun in years. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I guess the girls could use a little more tanning. People are generally a bit uptight when you <laughs> surf naked, though. <laughs> oh, hey, you're topless. I didn't even notice because I was, uh... I was looking at your, uh, your hip boobs. Fuck. I'm suddenly imagining a shark somewhere finally getting the chest support she's always needed. <laughs> that shark's got the confidence now to march into like that, that office and get the raise she deserves. Why are you looking at me like that? You guys are weird. Oh. Let's hit the road, Eli. That bikini is lost at sea. And I've flashed enough strangers today. Oh, uh, you have. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. At least if I we get pulled over, the chances of escaping a ticket are hella good right now. Okay, why would you get pulled over then? It was nice chatting with you. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. Peace. This isn't over. Oh, okay. The afternoon. You gonna do the bakery, the mall, or go to the cafe? Because he has... Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Anyway, I was just saying, like, Copernicus? I, I keep forgetting her name. Uh, these don't make time for us, so we're fine here. Uh, hello! I never forget a face, and I don't think we've met, so you must be visiting or new to town. Welcome! Hello, thank you for... My name is Lopez. My brother, Dimitri, Lopez. and I Dimitri. run the Queen Bean. We like to tell people Russian? that we're the best coffee place in town, because it's true! We hope you'll make us your daily stop for your coffee. Buzz! Get it? <laughs> like a bee? <laughs> I, I got it. No, no worries. No, no worries. Let us loud and clear. So, can I get you anything? Uh, give me a coffee. Here you are. Have a Let's wonderful go. day. Plus one motivation. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So we can either go see Eero at the mall, because I believe that's where they said they were going. No, wait. She said this is for her assistant work. Okay, let's, let's go to the bakery. I have a high feeling. Out of the four girls left, which is what, L, Cassie, Mio, and Quill, that Mia would be here. And she seems to be the forefront of this game. Let's go to the bakery. You approach what looks like a bakery. The sign on the outside says Bon Bon's Bakery, and the smell of cookies immediately begins to creep in from all sides. Will we run into her like we did in the game? Inside, you can see people talking, and a red-haired woman is putting out a tray of freshly baked bread. You can hardly resist. As you enter the bakery, the smell of freshly baked bread and cookies absolutely overtakes you. Your stomach growls and your mouth waters as your body starts demanding tribute. Looking over, you see two girls chatting by the counter. For a moment, you almost mistake them for sisters, given their similarities. You walk in during the middle of a conversation. You know, darling, I never thought Ow! about baked cookies and cooked bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. It is quite the brain tickler. It must be a mistake, though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like, the president of words? Who the hell would the president of words? Hell, sweetie. 
That's not a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue burst of Beyonce I made. <laughs> That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. Oof. They continue chatting happily, not immediately noticing, judging by the lack of purchase, the pink-haired girl seems more of a friend than a customer. For a moment, you're just sort of caught up as an observer. The two girls are extremely attractive, and their lighthearted conversations make your heart flutter a little. My god, man, how easy is it to swoon you? Finally, through sheer willpower, you clear your throat and grab their attention. Oh, hello! A customer! How long have you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Cathy. Chatty Cathy. Welcome to my bakery. My name is Bonnie Bell. I, I know. You let Trust me know me. if you see anything you like, and I'll wrap some up for you. You've called me sugar plenty of times. The girl with the pink hair gives you a strange feeling when you look at her. Something tells you that you need to figure out a way to talk to her alone. <laughs> I'm looking for something sweet and pretty with an icebox and pink hair. I'm gonna need cookies, like a hundred cookies. I thought I smelled burning. Just want to check everything was okay. <sighs> Oof. Okay. What do we do here? How do we get... This could actually work. Sweet Georgia Brownies, my cupcakes! I'm okay, coming, darlings! Did. I'm smart. Gracious! It's a good thing your nose was around to exactly. save the day. Ow. This town could use more noses like yours. <laughs> well, thank you. The girl shyly twirls her hair and smiles at you before blushing and turning her eyes away. I'm sort of new in town, actually. I'm visiting for the summer. Hey, I'm super good at guessing names, so I guess your name is... Is it Pinecone? You almost be Ariel because I think you were a mermaid for each we were mermaid for each other. Uh, okay, no. Mm -mm. Welcome. My name is Elle. It's nice to meet you. You just met this girl. Don't hit on her. The girl's cell phone starts to beep. Whoops, that's my alarm. I'm late for being early to my book club. Can I give you my phone number? Oh. Before you go, could you do me my favorite act like phone but yours especially nice one trip. Yo, here's my <laughs> Yo, here's my number, girl. Ring me up some time. No. That's interesting. Let's go. I'm always this forward. It makes it easier to walk without tripping over things. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, Not what I meant. Sorry. I really am out of time. But thank you for your number. Maybe okay. we'll Ooh. chat another time. One out of four. See you later. Alright, sweeties. I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli, so you know they're good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Ow, fuck. Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? Or my pinky. Uh, n Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart well, yourself, you. so I'll give you a hand. Thank Here's you, a little tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. Cherry I'll give you a few for the road. On the house. Thank you. You're so sure nice. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm going to come at you with my wooden spoon. <laughs> and by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs> Is everyone in this game just horny? Okay, we're in the evening. Okay. Okay, then no, that's the hints. I don't want to go to hints. Beach, arcade, or mall. We know who's going to be here. Don't know who's going to be here. Don't know who's going to be here. I don't think Quill would be at any of these places. Okay, let's just go to the one that we know for sure. Let's go to Mio. For what the hell is this thing? Going into a parking lot of an arcade is a mixed bag. Turn to somehow you already hear children screaming, and the mini golf course looks like a health hazard. However, you notice a sign that says "plus." Did I actually just say "plus"? R-rated pub, fully licensed. And you feel a little better and walk inside. As you walk into the arcade, your senses are immediately assaulted by the mess of sights, sounds, and smells. The blaring of alarms and the flashing of lights hits first, but then the odd smell of old carpets and greasy food joins soon after. Not good. Making it to the bar, you barely call your bearings when you're surprised by the bartender who pops into your view. She smiles and waves as your first look at her. Hey, it's hot me. stuff! It Welcome is to me, Rated huh? A Arcade, where the beer and boobs aren't pixelated. Okay. Here are your complimentary quarters. This month is our hot coffee special. Free lattes with the purchase of 100 tokens. Because my boss thinks ancient memes are dank. I 
name is Mio, and I'll be your server. Hi, and just like a great game server, I never go down. So don't ask. <laughs> what can I get you, sweetheart? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you're gonna just tell her the Konami code? Yeah, I'll give a mana potion over dialogue. I'm gonna fuck you. Okay. Would you appreciate the old classic of the Konami code? That is the Konami code, right? Am I, not, am I not, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, yeah. Or should we for the mana potion? Mmm, this is tough. This is a bit of a sticky situation we got ourselves in here. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, sure! Let's go! That would be the cheesy pickup line appetizer. It's always overdone, though, just to warn you. Uh, yeah, I'll fetch your drink. Give you time to think about the mistakes you've made in life. Didn't have to say that. Mirror turns is very- Oh, that's a cool little image. Very fast as it gives you a wink. As she begins to pour your drink, her top sits ever so- Keeping those crosshairs where I can see them, hey? Well, good for you. For you. I hope there's an achievement for that. I got my first achievement! It was for being a decent person. But just in case it was too subtle, this bar has a certain atmosphere. And I enjoy it. So relax. So hey, you've got a face, and I've never seen it before. What's your story, mysterious stranger? What brings you to town? Uh, I'm here for a month on vacation. I heard this place had a beautiful beaches and bartenders and bananas. Oh, well, I had a vision of two magical goddesses, and they sent me on a quest to rescue five unsuspecting women. I'm on a mission from God. <laughs> well, I like that can-do Belushi I, attitude. I, <laughs> Especially without the can't-do Belushi body. You've got a winning combo going on there. I like to imagine I just stone cold looked her in the eye and like, I'm on a mission from God. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Anyway. Well, most of the NPCs around here hate tourist season, but I'm a fan. The regulars here are mostly good, but there's a few that, well, there's another meaning for the word regular, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's just nice seeing new friendly faces around. And abs. Got any abs under that shirt? I'd love to meet them. <laughs> I've got abs. Well, I was still big abs. <laughs> We've got that in common. I like this over here. Let's fly to the arcade bar. Okay, now let's ask you a bunch of questions. And, uh, and I want to, uh, we'll go with this one. <laughs> right? I mean, that's I'm exactly doing work why here, I'm pals. working here. Okay, I'm all for the direct approach, love. What's on your mind? I like here. Uh, what's it sound like? Is it more chill or kill or kill? Single or take a walk, loser? Is it more chill or kill or kill? Hmm, it's pretty nice here. Though, we've gotten more cautious about shoplifters and near do wells recently, I guess. Most of the businesses in town have, actually. That's not there great. There are a few streets and alleys downtown I probably wouldn't hang around when it's dark. Or brightly lit, for that matter. Dad. But that's just my keen, don't be a dumbass intuition. I so I guess it's not, not the type of place that's going to burst into song randomly. <laughs> but not that bad. I that's sense good. a soul in search of answers. Uh, well, that should be enough of an incriminate. Thank you for your coffee. How long have you worked here? Basically ever since my bra filled in. It's just a uh, summer gig, though, for when tourist suckers like yourself are around. I am not a tourist sucker. Hey. This isn't even my main job. I just like having access to unlimited tokens and tequila. I'm basically a god here. So you sent me on the mission. Any more dialogue trees you want to explore? like one of those really deep soul-searching questions everyone needs to ask themselves from time to time. That's exactly what I'm asking now. But I think the best word that describes me is interested. Ah, we're getting somewhere. Has anyone told you you've got a nice voice? You could make it into voice acting full show. Don't say that again. No problem, Detective Phelps, but if you're trying to figure out if I'm lying, I should remind you that my face is up here. I have been looking at your- I have been looking at the dialogue box, so I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, I read, but... I've been looking at your eyes this entire time, either that or the bottles in the back, because I'm wondering what they say, and then I realize they're just speaking absolute gibberish. So, random question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how busy would you say you were this week? Got plans already? Uh, that's really more of a first day question, don't you think? I'm afraid that content is age-gated, I'll need a phone number and confirmation that you're not a bot. 10. Gotta write tonight. <laughs> okay, fine. Here's my number, you nerd. 
You had me at confirmation I'm not a bot. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. I'll text you though, and we'll set something up. Two out of the five, baby. And hey, just FYI, you're on a really good roll here. Like, you're in baby boner territory. Don't mess it up. Okay. I hope to see you later. Ciao. Uh, why did I just forget the word for goodbye for a second? God damn. Home. Okay, so... Jobs. Okay, so I can go flip burgers. My level, I'm level 3. For motivation, so I can go there. Pays 15 bucks. And I get a bit more... Uh, no, I just... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> so these are the skills I have now. Okay, I guess we'll just go do this. Iron 15 bucks. Today felt like two days. You're asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. July 2nd. Done. You had a strange dream last night. There were cats and rats. And cats. Hopefully none of it was symbolic. I think the cats might have been symbolic. Okay, so we can go run in one of these. I think... We're gonna go run the suave. Two levels. Okay, let's go. Morning time, baby. Ellie. Hey, it's Ellie. Don't ask how I got your number. My ways are mysterious and fraught with I didn't, I didn't even give a hero my number. Feel so much. I'm sorry. Only Cassie's allowed to call me that. Anyway. Uh, here's the plan. Hero goes to, uh, for dog every morning. That's also when she's in her best mood. Unless you're a joggy god, your best bet is to meet her at the park in the morning. She's doing my to end run, which will soften, up, soften her up a bit. Tomorrow morning, park dress for sweaty success. Hero is likely to make you jog. You got all that? I'll be there. Wunderbar. I'll be running for you. Be nice and don't talk about gross stuff. I didn't plan on that. By tapping the phone? Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, let's... I think I should be able to go to the cafe. So, I gave him $400. And he said he'd get it back to me by next week. What did I walk into? Dimitri, that was very foolish. But save our story. We have a customer. Hello, Lotus. Oh, yeah. Aloha. And hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. Hello. What can I get for you today? Just give me a coffee. Here you are. Have a great day. Tax. Why did I rank up tax happy? Whatever. Maybe not. I can actually talk to Iro. Uh, bakery. Hey, sugar. Hey, Welcome Bonneville. back. As you can see, we've got no shortage of shortbread or lack of lax bread. For some reason, when you said that, I thought you just packed the bread full of laxatives. <laughs> so let me know if anything catches your attention. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, let's go to the park. As you walk into the garden in your backyard, you oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Notice the abundance of sights and sounds all around you. Birds are singing, butterflies are fluttering, and you sidestep, you sidestep a frog on the path. But suddenly, things change. The garden grows still, and you get the sense that you're being watched. <gasps> Quill! Shadow passes over the sun, the wind blows through the leaves, and a soft hush. This is so quill. You hear your branch snap behind you. You hear a branch snap behind you. You turn around your heart racing prepared to fight. When a, a man dressed as a knight. Hip, hip, what, what? Now, what's this then? Must have hit a tumbleweed, am I right? Uh, uh, uh. I'm shocked you're not quill. Whatever. Uh, hello? What the fuck are you doing? The man pops up on his feet without surprising me. Oh, um, uh, brushing himself. Oh, brushing himself with dirt and brick. Nothing like a summer trip to start a great adventure, I always say. Though I'm also partial to the fall. Partial to the fall, are you? But anyway, where are my manners? Must have left them in my other pants. <laughs> he isn't wearing pants. Oh, fuck, he isn't wearing pants. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Savix, a knight of the holy socks, as well as other holy sects. Lots of sects. I immediately want to kill you. I just want to point it out. What brings you to the Enchanted Garden? Is it a, a quest? You look questionable. Wonder what's you mean going besides here. a pleasant bout of gallantry and a little bushwhacking? Yeah. Stay a while and listen. 
for my tale is one of misery and woe. I journey to Sabrosa under truly bizarre circumstances after I was given something of a kickstart. Huh. For located in this town lies a hidden treasure oh. so powerful it could bring the order of holy socks and knots of sects to their knees I I in the bad way. And that power is the legendary chicken binding. Are you in the right game, man? Oh, I assure you this is no game. If anything, it would be more accurately described as, as a visual novel or something. Whoops! Uh, sorry, uh, did I say chicken binding? Oh, I always mess that up. Uh, the no, 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 is called no, 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 the no, no, no. hentai. You mean like hentai? Ah, like the, like the Japanese. I see you speak the ancient tongue, which yeah, is Japanese one of my favorite appendages. Or porno videos. But yes, hentai. Well, if you would prefer hentai. Uh, much like my wizard companions, I don't care how you spell it. This kingdom is rife with hentai, hidden every which way, in nooks and crannies and, and I assume, folders labeled homework and business. Do people actually just have homework folders labeled with hentai? I thought that was just a meme. Is that true? Whatever. I mean, I guess technically now I have hentai on my computer because I'm fucking downloading this game. If a knight were to find all of the hentai in Sabrosha, there's no telling what they would be capable of. So you're a man horn. No telling, of course, because it would likely be censored. Ah, yes. But sure. alas, I can draw no further to the city than this. There is a powerful force called immersion that would be broken if I were to try. Your consent. Breaking immersion would result in a process called bad reviews, which would be the death of us all. What are the other guys in OnlyFans? I can sense I'm straining immersion just by speaking to you. I assume Get it's safe, though, since you appear to have a sense of humor. I do have a sense of humor, but I don't have a sense of humor for these so, kind of people, so uh, I must abandon my quest. Unless... Here we go. Oh, yes. Here we go. One, I'm not fucking you. It's okay, I didn't get out. If you were to search the city for the mythical hentai, oh. you could claim its legendary power for yourself. And I could tell the holy sects that the quest was finished. What do you say? Uh, do you want to search for hentai and become a legend in your own right? We're here to see the game in full, baby. Yes! <laughs> yes is my second favorite three-letter word. I think we all know what your favorite first one is. You will need to search high and low to find all of the hentai in Sabrosa. Higher than a kite, lower than the low lives. I'm just now listening to what he's saying. And like, processing in my head. What the fuck am I playing? Maybe hidden in the background, in certain dialogue options, maybe even in weird Easter eggy spots. Uh -huh. He has a fucking bulge. And I'm not totally sure exactly how many there are, but if you return to my garden from time to time, I should be able to uh, give you a good you're guess a side how many quest, are left to find. Guy. You're the side quest. That's what you're telling me. Best of luck on your quest. If you can find all the hentai, it will be my pleasure to induct you in the Order of Holy Socks and Lots of Sects. Wait for dialogue off. Done. Hey, yeah! That's a lot easier to say it that way. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Here, uh, to start you off, I'll oh. give you the single hentai pick oh. I found. Click on the 53XY Picks option in your gallery to check it out. Take care. Moisturize well. And oh my god, man. thyself for an arduous journey. You have my support. Farewell, fellow adventurer. Until Farewell. next we meet. I'm, I'm scared that I'm actually going to search for. Okay, there's Iro. Iro, Jesus Christ, is going to get to me. Where's Mio? There's Mio.
Why is there two inches? Oh, that's right. That's her, yeah, her basketball. Prepare yourselves. It's gonna be blurred here. Oh. Sir Vix A Easter egg picks. Earn 100% of these single playthrough to satisfy it. Once unlocked, they'll stay in the gallery forever. The guy taped his own head on it. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, we need to get out of here before I get demonetized again. We're going to the beach. Let's see what we got here, baby. As you make your way along the beach boardwalk, you spot a pretty girl in a bikini, handing out coffee? As you get closer, you can see that she's actually packing up her thing. Oh, hello again. It's, it's Lotus. Me, Lotus from the Queen Bean. Hello, Lotus. As you can see, not in my usual uniform. In case you didn't recognize me. <laughs> nah, 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 I have a keen eye for people's faces. I hope you didn't have your hopes set on one of our delicious and invigorating cups of coffee, did you? Uh... Wow, excuse me, did you say bikini? For example, it's a bikini now. No worries, I'll show the coffee later, but that's sample. I didn't, but now, I mean, you made something pretty great. Oh no! I know that feeling all too well! And I can't let down a potential... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I don't need coffee. I don't drink coffee in real life either. Oh, I know! You can have a sample of my coffee! It's right here in this thermos! I thought you were gonna do something much different. This is actually a really special coffee. It's called my Super Brew Supreme. And I don't actually oh, make okay. it for I customers. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say the milk comes from Because the else. beans were a gift from my uncle in Kona. Oh. So it's your lucky day. Try it. I hope it energizes and refreshes you. Let's hope. Because currently, at the time we're recording, this is 10.24 p.m. You try the coffee. It is insanely good. And it does indeed energize and refresh you. Hope to see you at the Queen Bean soon. Have a great day. See you there, Lotus. Lotus loads all of her coffee stuff into her car and drives away. You lick the cup clean and consider eating it. The coffee is that good. God damn. You sadly throw it away and continue on with it. Oh, hell yeah. July 2nd afternoon. Okay, Mio and look at me. Hey, stranger, remember me? I'm the weird chick that works at the arcade who awkwardly <laughs> was awkwardly burning. I was kind of hoping to do a little more of that, but like not on company time. I'm not sure if you're, even, if you're interested or available, but I thought I'd take a shot in the dark. You want to go out sometime tonight? I promise I can talk a lot less about video games or a lot more. I'm versatile, so let's go out sometime where we can do never get home. Yeah, sure, we can go out tonight. Uh, where, when, how? When, where, how? How are we doing this? Fantastic. Heart. Motocon. After I'm off work, is usually the best time. Why don't you drop by tonight? We can head somewhere else, or I can lock down the arcade and we can have a free run of the place. Holy fuck, yeah. I'm sure we'll find something to do see you tonight. Okay, so now if we go to schedule, July 3rd in the morning, uh, and July 2nd in the evening. Lotus. Hello, this is Lotus from, uh, Queen Bee Coffee House. Hola, hello, aloha, and hello. Just a friendly announcement to perk your interest. Uh, Queen Bee Coffee House is now offering a legendary summer specialty. Eggplant, spice, lattes. Good to see you soon, aloha. Thanks, Lotus. You're welcome. Thank you, Lotus. Anyway, we go to the bakery, arcade, or mall. We need to go in the evening. We need to go in the evening, so we best be going to the mall first. Right? Arriving in the mall, you're somewhat taken aback. <gasps> Cassie's here! I'm just now remembering she fucking loves the shop. I reckon all your summer thinking about that's your size, but more than 300 stores on three floors. Finding a parking spot alone takes more than 20 minutes, and by the time you reach the front entrance, you're already noticeably hot and somewhat winded. Luckily, the distant chill of a powerful air conditioner greets you as you enter, and the smell of popcorn and fancy chocolates promises you things are better in here. You explore a bunch of the shops, and as you slowly make your way, picking into more of a dozen shops, offering hats called caps, and passing by a suspicious number of cinnamon bun shops. Finally, as you're passing a store called the Chick Vitek. I can't pronounce words, so I'm just not gonna pronounce it. Your familiar voice, yo ho, come from the back of the store. Hey, Eli. Yo ho! Why, it is look who it is! is it? My cute little beach bum buddy! Hello. I'm so glad you're here. I didn't get the chance to give you my and Eero's num nums while we were frolicking on the sands. Hand me your phone. 
I shall correct this grievous oversight immediately. You already gave it to me. There. Done. Now you can send Eero all the cute kitty memes your heart desires and fill my inbox with all the dirty little text your mind can conjure. Cute kitty memes are cool. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Just be super careful not to mix those two up. Can you imagine? Sending me kitty memes! <laughs> I'm practically squeeing my face off just thinking about them! <sighs> now, other than another fantastically fateful meeting with yours truly, what brings you to the mall? Did you run out of gum while you were out kicking ass? Do you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? What was that like? Kick gum and eat ass and all that ass? <laughs> There's something like this with the meme? I don't know why I thought of that. Two words, food court, mixing and matching foods from across the fast food rainbow. The guilty pleasure of kings. Just looking around. Look at what I'm wearing. Obviously, I'm here for my help. I'm here for help. My wardrobe is the desperate need of a emergency. <laughs> just looking around. Hey, <laughs> all right then. Keep your secrets. I'm just looking around. That's the truth. Regardless, I'm glad you've appeared you appeared out of thin air. Hey, all right, that? enough small talk. Let's get down to business. As you can see, you are standing in Cheek Boutique. Boutique. Where all your dreams come true. It also happens to be my throne of power. Really? Here at Cheek Boutique, fashion is our passion ration. And I would love, love, love to make you my lovely little Autobot and help transform you. Dash is rude to I'm say I'm going to hand you clothes, you're going to take them to the dressing room, and you're going to put them on and start whispering tearful thank yous to your Eli. Why am I just not questioning if you're a dude? Okay, chop, chop, chop! Fortune favors the bold, and judging by what you were wearing when you came in here, you're most definitely the bold Fuck type. you. <laughs> oh, and don't look at the price tags. Those are merely suggestions, like pants and speed limits. Both those are not suggestions. Here you go, here you go, here you go! All right, you're set. I thought See he just called shortly. me a shorty. You walk over to the fancy change room with easily $2,000 worth of designer clothes, including at least one pair of assless chats. Good God. <coughs> Sorry. For a moment, you feel utterly lost with their nose lines directing where exactly to go or wait. You awkwardly try to see if anyone's already in the room, but it's too difficult to tell. Just decide to turn back and summon Eli for help. Your foot catches the corner of a short bench, causing you to toss your armlet of clothes and topple onto the change. And who's that other than Cassie? A really beautiful girl changing her clothes. Time feels like it slows down as the two of you stare at one another in surprise. Every detail seems. She's gonna kill you, man. She is. You are a dead man. The woman feels impossible. Impossibly intimate. Okay. okay. I am not reading all this out loud. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, you perv? You're dead meat. Figured as much. Okay. Oh my god! You see a flash of blonde hair and look. You awake sometime later to concern to Ayla. Oh, wowzers! That's quite the bump on the old noggin. She got you uh, good. I didn't go knock me out, I think. What happened? Oh, memory loss? Well, if you happen to develop amnesia, let me know. I'm your next of kin, and you've left your entire fortune to me. Oh, I'm. Oh, okay. That's. Uh... Lucky you! You have just had the pleasure of meeting one of Sabrosa's more colorful residents. Cassie. Her name is Cassie. Well, I'm grabbing and she is over. a firecracker thrown into a burning microwave. Yeah, I know her. Trust me. I'm like 90% sure we're married, although I'm not sure anymore. She comes in here all the time, tries on all the clothes, usually stuffs the odd thing into her bag, but... Oh dear lord, did you see her nails? That girl is a wizard with the filing board. She shop much? Eh, just a thong or a bra here and there. One time she stuffed a dress into her purse, which I found to be an impressive feat. Honestly, hell yeah. I'd let her take it at that point. I mean, I would call the police or confront her or something for the shoplifting, but in all honesty, I'm super lazy, and everything she takes looks so good on her. Be creepy, but okay. Where's my mouth at? Would you like her number? I've got it here. I snooped through her phone once when she was trying on some lace panties. Fuck you. Beep, boop, beep. There you go. Just a word of the wise. Don't coddle that one. She's got daddy issues written all over her. I, I, I went from respecting you a little bit to now wanting to pound your face. So uh, that was great. Oh, and don't forget about Eero. I forgot I was trying to hook you up with her. 
Eero is so sweet, and a tiger in bed, I imagine. Your siblings don't imagine that. Whoops, look at the time. I need to take my two-hour lunch. Thanks for dropping in again. See you soon. Bye! I don't want to see you soon. You seem like an actual fucking creep. Okay, we gotta go to the... Eli, quick, there's a bunch of aliens taking over the mall, and they're demanding to speak with the most attractive Earthling, but I don't want to do it, so they'll have to settle for number two, which is you. Get over here right away. No, I'm not just making this up because I'm bored. I need help, please. It is purple. Sorry, I forgot about Cassie. So, you're the peeping time that tried to get a load of the goods. <laughs> I knew it was you. I know it was you, my friend Eli tattled on you, and now you're in big trouble for messing with me. If I ever catch you on the street, I'm putting my boot where the sun don't shine, you understand me? <laughs> well, well, it's just understanding. Misunderstanding. Oh, and what did I misunderstand exactly? Um, you broke into the changing room or part where you were <laughs> ogling my delegates. Did that one test? I, girl, it was an accident. I called and hung glass and kicked me in the head. I slept. I promise. Are you kidding me? You're flirting with me while I'm laying in the... I didn't even need the fact you got some guts, I'll give you that. Thank you, Cassie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through that next time I text you, I'll decide whether I'll let you make up for this mess. Ciao for now. That makes, okay, so time's not gonna progress here. Hey, so it's you! Uh, do me a favor, put this shirt on and look sexy. But not, like, too sexy. I don't wanna look too sexy for you. You quickly pull the sweater on, it's a bit itchy. Mm, no, I'm afraid not. This is more of a meet the parents kind of sweater. I'm looking for a nice, quickie in the library kind of vibe. Maybe I should wear glasses. Hmm. You. Oh, thank you, BT Dubs. You're a peach. I've got to concentrate on this problem right now, though. Who the fuck is BT Dubs? Hmm. Okay, we're going to the arcade. We cannot stand up the first date. As you walk into the arcade, the same sights, sounds, and smells from earlier begin to creep into your consciousness somehow, even from outside. It was a foreboding moss. However, Mia quickly unlocks the door and lets you in. She gives you a quick wave and an awkward side hug and then throws her hand toward the bar. Welcome back to Rated A Arcade, the most romantic hotspot in town. True. Cannot agree more. Tonight on the menu, we've got cheap beer, infinity quarters for the arcade, and the most brutal miniature golf course this side of the Lazy Links. I will be your date tonight. Please feel free to make inappropriate comments. But make no mistake, in this arcade, I am a goddess. You're going down. I just mean, was that a Fortnite reference she made earlier when she said this, this side of Lazy Links? Wasn't Lazy Links the golf course? Okay, whatever. You say cheap beer in infinity quarters, so I've died and gone to heaven. That's my things awkward for my atheism. If any need, that'll be the one going down tonight is a critical error. Do what you will, I've already won. Uh, you know, I knew there was something about this place that screamed Romantic Day. Probably that arcade over there called Romantic Day. <laughs> okay, let's let's test out what this does. Whoa! <laughs> Ten points to Slytherin for that zinger. Gosh, I'm a little speechless. I'm that much of a Well, they say turnaround is fair play, and I don't play fair, so... Turn around? Damn, that was a lot smoother in my head. Nah, I'm fine. just gonna give you the slow clap and move on. You got me all flustered here. <laughs> so, what brings you to Sombrosa anyway? Was it our expensive ass craft beer industry? Or the unusually high number of topless co eds on our beaches? Uh, I was just looking for a two inch trap to fall into for a month on surf game flare. The topless two eds did a factor in my I also heard the arcades were stuck in potty too. Quickly down to visit. Uh, I guess that was cool by the way it is. Womp womp. I guess I can't fault Fuck. you for the cheesy punchline when I gave you a setup like that. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. Got it. Still, it's nice seeing fresh faces in town. Sometimes it feels like I'm stuck in a time loop or something. Sombrosa yeah. doesn't seem to change much day to day. I might even be one of those immortal time loopers. Who Just knows? Dog day? Maybe someday I'll fall down a pit <laughs> and wake up in my bed, Bill Murray style. Well, well I broke the ice. I suppose it's your turn to conduct the interrogation. What's on your mind? Tell me about yourself. You probably like stuff, right? <laughs> so let me go. You're a gamer girl with a heart of gold on search for the missing diamonds? Let's play a game. Three words. Define yourself. 
<laughs> That's okay. awesome. Yes, you're exactly right. And I would have found them too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Can we do? I can't do Scooby Doo. Which conversation path will you take next? I wonder. I think I'm doing so. Things will be questioned. What's your favorite again? Oh, yawn! You sound like a BuzzFeed article. Here are the top ten reasons people use words. You'll <laughs> never believe number five. I just thought it was a good way to start the conversation. Okay, you look like you've got bad. something to say. Or an itch in a place you can't scratch. Either way, do it. Well, again? you tell me which kidney you like best and I'll get back to you. Alright, enough talk. It's my turn to choose. Ooh, what have we got here? Now we get to the Monk heart of the game. Crush, crush. A little game I like to call Get Smashed Bros. Is this the scene that's going to get our dialogue censored in Australia? It's really near copyright infringement. You went down in a car, would you? Let's talk more, Drake. This is definitely one of those adult situations that ESR can warn you about. Sob. The rules are simple. We play Road Combat 2 Mondo. Every time you lose a stock, you take a shot. You lose a bout, and you lose some clothes. Sound good? Semi-controls the inverted bitch, I play 98 style. Ooh, look at old Chun-Li McDigo here. Think you got the goods to easy peasy me? I'm gonna start things fair and not use my main. Seeing as you're fighting out of your weight class. Okay. All right, the tequila is ready. The stage is selected. You better grip stick, because here I come. I'm not gonna do that, fuck you. Give it all, I'll show you can defeat an ult. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I guess luck wasn't a dump stat for you. Let's I go! I stuff with total BS. No, it wasn't. I wrecked your ass. Well, looks like someone gets a peek at my bra. But you don't get to keep my shirt. Seriously, it's like my only shirt. Trust me. I know. Wait, no, no. Whatever. Oh, yuck! That tequila ain't what I would call top shelf. Oh, jeez. All right, time for round two. You better not be getting cocky just because you had one lucky round. Fight! Get ready with wow, this shit. Wow, did you just frame perfect my entire super? Let's go! That was sick. You've got some mad skills. My skills. What am I saying? I mean Samus in Smash Bros. I'm not that good. Yeah, that's shot number two. Okay, you're going down this time. My honor demands Unleash my Fight. full power! Wow, wow, wow! From the top rope? God, what an amazing match! Are we, are we That's the heart? most fun I've had in oh. years at this game. I'm okay, <laughs> well, I guess you earned this. You can keep the panties, Tiger, but not the bra. Those are expensive. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not wearing one! <laughs> Fuck's this done? Hmm, looks like this bottle is almost finished. I'll take one for the team and give it a good home. Holy fuck, how much did you drink? Uh oh! <laughs> that was gross, but not nearly as gross as it should have been. You moo cow, you didn't even share. Oh, well, you might want to keep that love in the shrink wrap for now, just in case that tequila returns to the village. Uh oh. Well, I it. don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little tipsy. <laughs> I can tell. Something on your mind? You look like you've got a few questions burning. What the fuck? What the fuck did that mean? Was that like a new gallery picture or something? We're gonna skip past that. We're gonna skip past that. No, it wasn't. What the hell did it mean? Ask you a sensitive question. I don't know. Can you? What's your ping? Lol, no. You caught me. I'm actually a fat bearded guy in Canada. No. <laughs> there are no girls on the internet. Let's go for a start. Um, well, it's nothing worth Finding bragging about, but I've got a decently successful game stream and a couple of speedrunning Hey! That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a rule not to bring up how incredibly geeky I am on a first date. You must have tricked me. Uh, Anything no, else you'd like to know? <laughs> I'm kind of ridiculous. Yes, but only because you seem to be an expert on the subject. If you could be any item in Smash Bros, what would you be? Put the screw with a 4,769. <laughs> Do one. 
<laughs> you said get sucked. But seriously, the only answer Super is Mario. Super Mario Bros. 2, baby! The second one? Hey, You're a curious source, hey? Here we go. Hmm, that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it goes. Shoot. I don't know what the answer is. Okay, we'll go with this. That's a gross question. Not because I don't, but because people who get hung up on that stuff weird me out. I'll kiss you if I think it'll be nice, no matter when it happens. That's a good answer. That is a good answer. Good answer, Mia. So, is the interrogation over? Do I get my phone call now? That includes... Yes. Beat my PB on the speed run. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep so, moving. So, what about you? Any deep, dark secrets I should know you about? You don't want to know. Anything you want to get off your chest? <laughs> You're figuratively Hitler. Jesus Christ. You translate for me for a moment, retrieving the empty bottle you polished off only minutes ago. She looks into the bottle and playfully shakes it upside down, looking disappointed. As she puts the bottle down, she leans against an arcade pan with a curling finger in her hair. You can't up and notice the small details you hadn't before. Her eyes are vibrant burgundy, like the merlet beneath the sun. The bell around her neck is a place off of the time whenever she tosses her hair. Her lips have a soft pink hue, like watermelon candy. Her hands, her legs, her waist, everything about her seems relaxed, fun, and carefree. She catches you staring and blushes the way she, uh, abashedly bites her lips, stirs something in you, or perhaps it's the Hey, seeing as we've gotten to know each other so well, I've got kind of a weird favor to ask. I think I know where this is going. Is this an okay segue? Are you worried that this is the part of the story where I turn out to be crazy and do terrible things to you? Away. That's probably the most romantic thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh no. <laughs> Segway away? Okay, brace yourself. Because this floor seems kind of wobbly. And I don't want you to fall down. I will try not to. As you know, I've worked in this silly place for quite a while. Mm -hmm. All this, you know, beep boop zap zap stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and for reasons I cannot fully explain. I have wanted to do something here with, like, another person. Not exactly, I'll turn around the corner. I'm not following you. What? No, I mean, not that, but, like, thank you. That also sounds really nice. What the nice. fuck were you talking about? I was hoping that... Uh, okay, this might sound either really dumb or really wackadoo. But I wanted what? someone to help me take some pictures. Oh, was that the camera was for? You know, like saucy pictures. Ah, uh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, crazy and dumb. Love it. Yay! I've never been so excited to be called crazy and dumb. Sometimes being crazy and dumb is good. He takes you by the hand over to one of the arcade cabinets. She puts her hands into her, your pockets and takes out your phone. Okay, hold on a sec. Mia slowly pulls her shirt off and seductively takes off her shorts. Her underwear reminds you of peppermint candy. Jesus Christ! Mia's giggling and her cheeks are burning hot. She sticks out her tongue at you. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. <laughs> she snaps a few pics of Mia as she poses in front of an arcade cabinet. She laughs and blows kisses and wiggles, wiggles suggestively at you. It gets a little difficult holding the camera steady. Mia pulls you in closer, brushes against you as she positions her view, bites her lower lip. Suddenly she jumps. Up and oh, I almost forgot! I need to play this game for sure. It's actually super important to get a few shots of a live game. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure I sound really shots ridiculous, but I appreciate your help. Now get me those photos of Spider Person. <laughs> spider Person, yep. You know, turns her back to the arcade cabinet and drops a few tokens in the slot. She truly points her. But at the camera and laughs. <laughs> Jesus okay, Christ. ready. You and me will laugh, joke, and flirt for the rest of the night. Afterward, you walk or get dressed, and the two of you look at the pictures you took. Oh, God, don't look at that one. It makes my junk look massive. <laughs> get I, it? I get massive? It. <laughs> it's so funny. The two of you snuggle for a while, and in a moment, you play the karate beanbag chair. Ew. 
Mia leans her head against you and seems to fall asleep for a moment. She begins to slip and wakes with a girl. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm pretty schnackered now. I'd better go home and get started on the hangover part. Yeah, I probably should. I had fun, though, tonight. You're neat. Thank you. Let's hang out and secretly imagine each other naked again. What do you mean again? She kisses you once in a strange combination of watermelon and glasses and you feel like kind of kiss. A short while later, Mio's getting into a ride chair waving goodbye and blowing you kisses. After you've sobered up, you take your own car home. Current mood, lovey-dovey, Mio's affection level 3, date rewards, one secret added to the notes, and one Easter egg pick found. Oh! Oh, okay, well, we're gonna look what this Easter egg pick was. Hopefully, it wasn't anything inappropriate. Oh, dear God. I was wrong. I was oh so wrong. And it said, what else did it say? Um, one secret. It said something else. But I don't, I don't remember. Okay, so they're all okay. Cassie's guessing. Then we can't really smooth it up. So we met four out of the five girls. We're just missing Quill. Secret one. What's the secret? A bartender. Is that? Oh wait. Mio mentioned that she just the game channel, but seems hesitant to say more. Okay. Got it. Uh, what jobs are we on? We're on Solar Tech. It's all 55 bucks. Hell yeah. Let's, let's just work there. Let's go. Hell yeah. Your night air is strangely quiet. In the distance, you can hear the waves and nothing more. July 3rd, done. Okay, I'm going to end it there. I've been going for about an hour 17. Uh, but I honestly, this is pretty fun so far. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I mentioned before, and in a tweet that I made about this game, uh, I love visual novels. Some of my favorite games are visual novels. For Christ's sakes, I'm wearing a Slay the Princess shirt as we speak. So yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you want to see this again, I'm probably going to play it anyway. But yeah, I, I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Yeah.